Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Wenceslas Catholic Church, where Jesus is encountered, proclaimed, and shared. We extend a special welcome to all visitors on this 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I am Kathy Huber. Ella Getz and I are your lectors for this liturgy. Our first announcements are from representatives from the Welcome Committee, Teresa and Greg. Okay. Uh, do you have a sense that something is missing in your life? Do you feel that if you were not so busy, you would be happier, healthier, more effective, more fulfilled, maybe even a holier person? Hello, my name is Greg Ritzdorf, and that's exactly how I felt before I attended the Men's Welcome Weekend at the parish last March. What is welcome? It's an incredible experience that will help you discover what is missing in your life and what to do about it. I would like to personally invite every man here this evening to come to the next Welcome Weekend on Saturday and Sunday, September 14th and 15th. It's right here at the parish, and it will help you make sense of your life and start living more passionately. Uh, come by the welcome table in the narthex after Mass. I'd love to meet with you and tell you more about it. I will just share with you Matthew Kelly, most of us know, maybe all of us know, and this is his birth child, is Welcome Weekend. So if you like Matthew Kelly, you're going to love Welcome Weekend. Thank you. Hi, I'm Teresa Burdick, and I've been a member of St. Wenceslas for 20 years. I'm also here talking about Welcome. Last spring, I attended the Welcome Weekend, and it really was amazing. Uh, before the weekend, I was really nervous about stepping out of my comfort zone, making small talk, being vulnerable, all the things. Um, but during the weekend, it was so wonderful to be served and welcomed and loved by different women in the parish. And it was a really great experience. Um, you'll hear, if you join us for welcome, you'll hear great stories of strength and wisdom from people here in the parish that you never would have guessed that those were their stories. Um, after the weekend, I felt recharged, renewed, and so much more at home here at St. Wenceslas that there's people here today that I never would have talked to, but now I really feel like they're family. And so it was an awesome experience in that way as well. So I would like to personally invite you all to sign up for the next Welcome Weekend. The Women's Weekend is Saturday and Sunday, September 21st and 22nd. You can sign up. There's a QR code in the bulletin or stop by the table out in the narthex after Mass. Thanks. Okay, following the 8 a.m. Mass tomorrow, parishioners are invited to a special pre presentation in Kane Hall by nationally known Catholic author and attorney Mark Henry. Mark will be giving a talk on church teaching regarding health care and the importance of advanced planning so that decisions concerning your health care properly reflect your wishes. He will also discuss how you can leave a legacy for your family and our parish community. Refreshments will be provided. The Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a Holy Day of Obligation, is this Thursday, August 15th. Mass times are found in the bulletin and on the parish website. Church tours for the month of August will take place on Sunday, August 11th at 3 p.m. and Tuesday, August 20th at 6 p.m beginning in the narthex. Come and learn about our newly installed stained glass windows and other treasures of the church. Next weekend, find your place in our family of faith through our annual parish ministry fair, taking place in Kane Hall following the Saturday evening and Sunday morning masses. Learn about various ministries and organizations, enjoy refreshments, and complete a fun bingo card for a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Our first ever community outreach day is just two weeks away. 
Join your fellow parishioners on Saturday, August 24th for a day of service to our community in collaboration with over a dozen different organizations throughout our city. For more information, see the parish bulletin. Our celebrant is Father Toby and our deacon is Jack Miller. Our entrance hymn is in the hymnal at 686, Lord of all hopefulness, 686. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Coming together, we celebrate the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you loved us and handed yourself over to death for us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give your flesh as bread for the life of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to forgive one another as you have forgiven us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went on a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. And strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Around those who fear him, 